Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a Sunday inside of FIFA 22 Fantasy Foot. We're looking at a mini release today, right? Mini release Sundays. We will add to our nice selection of Fantasy Foot cards that we have in packs right now. Three additional is what is leaked, but more of these cards will be coming into packs today. We have leaks for who those cards might be. We'll take a look at that and talk through today's content on Sunday, as well as talk through the market. What happened yesterday, as it's just kind of a slow weekend um, as a part of this promo, it really seems, right? Of course, EA is running lightning rounds after lightning rounds after lightning rounds, and then some more. Um, but... We'll talk about the supply on the market, why these cards are still very, very high in price. And also today, we have an Icon SBC that is expiring. Yes, the Prime Icon Upgrade, which has been honestly one of the best value Icon Upgrade packs for a while, is going away today. So I'm really curious to see if we're going to get a new one today, if EA are just going to re-release this Prime Icon Upgrade, which I believe we've had this already for two times they've released this SBC. Usually when the third time comes, that's the last time. I don't know if they're going to start throwing in icon moments into here yet. I feel like it's a little bit early. We'll talk more about that. Um, and maybe another player SBC today. Um, and we'll talk about all the content that happened yesterday as well. And of course, how you can still make some coins in the market right now, even though the market is just very, very stagnant. But nonetheless, I hope your weekend leagues are going well and just your weekends in general. I hope those are going well. I'm currently playing. I'm in the trenches this weekend in weekend league. The gameplay as you guys know, it's just horrendous. I don't know what has happened. New gen, old gen, whatever you play, it just, it's not good. It's really, ever since Christmas, honestly, but it just keeps getting worse. So I think I'm like seven and four at the moment or something like that. Uh, and probably on my way to maybe getting rank five with, with this squad and Mr. Christian Erickson is a lot of fun to use. Now I kind of have to work a little bit extra to keep him in the team, but he's a, he's a very fun car to use. And of course, a little sentimental value there for me. But let's get into the video today. Of course, if you did enjoy it, smash the thumbs up on it and subscribe if you are new. Now, we're talking Sunday content, and that usually means mini release. And that also, in the recent weeks, has meant icon upgrades. We have been stuck with the same two icon upgrade SBCs in this game for like the past three weeks. Almost the entirety of Foot Birthday, we had the prime icon upgrade and the mid or prime player pick now finally one of these two is going to expire since i'm pretty sure they released this last time it was out for like 10 days or something but this has been a pretty you know pretty good value sbc the time that it's been out for basically what is it, like two weeks as i was saying 10 days to two weeks so this has been out for is finally going away today so that has us asking the question is ea going to just leave it and not replace it are they going to just re-up the same sbc with the same requirements or are they going to put out a new one an upgraded one, maybe include icon moments. I do think that it's a little bit early for icon moments. I went back in time and did a little bit of research. The first time that we saw the primer moments upgrade last year in FIBA 21 was in early May. So that's still kind of in the future a long ways from now, but I will say this. I also went and checked to see when the last time was that we had the prime icon upgrade or the first time that we had the prime icon upgrade back in FIBA 21 was at the beginning or like basically in early March where we are right now, early mid March. So the fact that we have already had the prime icon upgrade for like, I'm pretty sure it's been three weeks in total that we have had this upgrade pack in the game. We might not be that far away from having icon moments included into these upgrade SBCs. But of course there really have been no leaks. Uh, and I feel like if we were to get a prime or moments icon upgrade pack, there would be leaks about it. There'd be a lot of hype. You see some icon moments drop. I still think the icon moments are still just a bit too fresh, maybe in like a week or two. That is when we could ex maybe expect to see a uh, icon moments SBC or that gives out icon moments players. I would presume that a prime or moments upgrade pack would be the first one that we would get. And it's probably still a couple weeks away. But again, with this one expiring today, there could be some more demand for SBC fodder. As I know a lot of people have done this SBC and they can't do it. Like I have it right here, but they've done it and it's no longer repeatable for them. So I think even if this is just re-upped today, you would really want to keep an eye on SBC fodder, which has been inflated, but especially on the on the low to middle end, like this this icon upgrade is only 300 and what, 50,000 coins. It, it, it you know requires the 84s, the 85s, the lower tier of that fodder. So maybe some of your 85s, your 86s could go up a little bit today, potentially 
if we have another good value icon upgrade SBC, because I think people are bored a little bit on this game at the moment, and that could be something that people might go out and do today. So we'll talk about fodder a little bit more in a second. But speaking of today on Sunday, other content that we always almost see on Sundays are the mini releases. And these are the players that we are expected to get in a mini release today with confirmed stats. Again, we, we, I think we mentioned this in the, in the Friday video or something like that, but another right mid, especially from the Prem, right? We just had Mr. Sancho, the five-star, five-star beast from Foot Birthday Team 2. Now we're going to be getting ourselves a Lucas Mora right mid card. Honestly, with how fragile and stagnant the market seems right now, I know the Sancho card has risen up about 100K as he, as he was, like 680, 670 at his lowest um, on the PlayStation at least. Um, I think I would probably sell this card today. Uh, we have Gelson Martins that is out, of course. We're getting a, a, uh, a Lucas Mora today. That's a decent looking card. It's probably not as good as Sancho because unless they upgrade... Uh, either the weak foot or skill move of Lucas Moore. He is four star, four star. His base gold is four four as well. So that's not going to be as hype as a five star, five star, of course, as the Sancho card is. But still, another item out in the game. He does have, he does have all the characteristics of being a very meta card, right? He's high medium work rates, unique body type, really high agility, really really high balance. Actually, 92 dribbling on this card. Was this one got 95? He's probably going to be maxed out 99.99 on agility and balance. So that'll be a card people want to try out. And since it is, again, a substitute item for right mids in the Prem and in the game, I would probably just maybe be careful with that Sancho card. That's what I would say. But Kieta Balde would be a nice budget striker in the Serie A and another budget center defensive mid in the Bundesliga in core. Uh, but there's, you know, just a minuscule amount of hype with these cards being released today as well. That's just more from an information perspective. Of course, I'm excited for the Lucas Mora. But uh, I think that might be all of our content today. I really think that that might be it. There's also a possibility that they would not even re-release the Prime Icon upgrade. Like that might not even be a thing and it might just expire. We would still have the Mid or Prime that is out for some people to do if it's still available for them. So that's just kind of one thing that I'd be thinking through today as well. We might not see an Icon upgrade SBC, but we have seen consistent pack supply SBCs both untradeable from the past two days, but they've kind of released these challenge to earn packs, which is nice. We take those. So maybe we see another one of those today. And technically, we have seen player SBCs on the first two days of this promo as well with Tonali and Caliguri. Um, of course, this SBC from yesterday, in my opinion, the card looks like it doesn't know where you're supposed to play at, right? You look at this card and you're like, where do I play this guy? Right mid, center mid, center defensive mid, center back, right back. I think he's going to be very usable at a lot of different positions. And to be honest, for a lot of people, they're going to skip over this SBC. But for me, and if, especially if you want to make sure your club is ready for the next set of icon swaps objectives, which are going to be released tomorrow, by the way, if you did not know that. The next icon swap objectives are tomorrow. So kind of last chance over this weekend to make sure you've got all your tokens done through squad battles, whatever it may be uh, that you want to get done because the next set is going to be tomorrow and Monday. But this is only an 84 rated squad with a team of the week. So when we get player picks or upgrade packs this week, as long as those are decent value, this is going to be incredibly easy to craft. Even if you're in the middle of the Mbappe craft for the player of the month, which I, which I know so many people are. This is going to be a really, really easy card to complete. Live upgrading. He does play a lot for Augsburg. And, you know, I would I could see this card getting a plus two over the next couple of weeks after the upgrade starts. So that might be a nice item for the untradeable Bundesliga team. And just honestly, 89 rated fodder if you do get an 84 rated squad done with some upgrade packs later on this week. So that I think the Caligari SBC, I would rate that as a W. I honestly would. So that was some of our content from yesterday. Also, we had new Man of the Matches uh, yesterday released as well. Uh, and it's probably just easier to see this on Footbin. And that nice little uh, error from EA here, it says Man of the Match items are no longer available. They're obviously in the game right now. So GG's EA Sports. But uh, it's actually kind of crazy because almost all of these Man of the Matches have instantly become fodder on the market. I mean, look at Benzema, right? 92 rated Benzema is at 83,000 coins. Oh, wait, what's the cheapest 92s on the market, you might ask? Oh, uh, yeah, Lewandowski, Benzema, and Oblak, two of which, Benzema and Oblak, were players from the set of Man of the Matches that they added yesterday. So, I mean, it is what it is. Muller is already a 
uh, the cheapest 90 rated card on the market. Uh, so that's kind of interesting. And uh, yeah, it, it's just a lot of these man of the matches came out and it's they're almost as dead as the team of the week. So there's not really a lot to talk about with man of the matches unless they upgrade a live card like a headliner or a ones to watch, which none of them did from yesterday's set. Uh, also, we had a Pedri, right? Pedri's second ever special card is minimum priced on the market at 15,000 coins. So there's that. And if you wanted to try Pedri, uh, you can try him out instead of paying 1.6 million coins for his future stars card. But that was all of our content yesterday. Now, one thing that I'm kind of curious about as well is since we've had two back-to-back -back days of SBCs, could we have another player SBC today? We don't have any leaks for any really uh, solid leaks. I will say I did notice this tweet from Foot Zone, which we like Foot Sheriff the most. His leaks have been the most consistent for leaks, right? Leaks aren't always 100% consistent, as we always know, but I haven't seen anybody else post this, so it makes me a little bit curious, but a Antonio uh, SBC would be pretty interesting. I think that would actually be a player SBC that there would be some hype for because you'd think, okay, potential upgrades, West Ham potentially getting a win or two, Antonio scoring a goal or assisting playing in those games could potentially upgrade. So that could be a cool card if it does come. Again, don't get super duper excited about this. Sorry if you're a West Ham fan. I, I want to excite you. And then, of course, this SBC not drop. But um, I, I just don't know if we can expect to see player SBCs every single day, even though we've started off with that trend. I don't know if we can expect to see player SBCs every single day of this promo because it's not like foot birthday, right? I feel like they would take some days off. It's probably going to be a little bit slower content this week inside of fantasy foot, but you know, we've started off back to back days with an SBC. So maybe they'll continue that trend. I would like it if they did right more SBCs. Sure. Not a problem for, for us. Uh, by any means. So we'll see what happens today in that department as well, content wise on this game. Now let's take a look at the market and talk about the market because a lot of these fantasy foot players, I know a lot of you guys are looking at these cards and like, man, when can I buy them? When can I buy them? What should I be doing with these cards if I pack them? Still, to be completely honest with you, especially for an Allen St. Maximum, these cards are just so very expensive on the market now right now when i'm recording this these these cards are actually dropping a little bit because uh guys like nani nani was uh 570k yesterday right now he's 520 what's happening is it's late night lightning rounds right now like 2 a.m uk time so gelson martins was like 575 80 some of these guys were actually decent flips last night uh if you bought any of these and flipped them um from the like late friday night time frame into the saturday zone uh, Gelson went from like 430 back to, you know, 570. Um, Inani went from 500K to the high 500 range. Uh, I think there's a couple other. Klosterman went from like 370 to 430. Kamavinga went up as well. So, you know, with these lightning rounds, if you're watching this video right away after it goes live, you might find some low prices, especially with squad battle rewards. There's a couple objectives requiring squad battle, so that shouldn't impact the market too much. But these cards are really rare, so they're going to continue to bounce around a little bit. And when we have these late hours of supply, sometimes waking up early in the morning, if you're seeing this early enough, you might find some low prices that you might be able to trade with, with some of these cards heading into today on Sunday. So just be careful with that. But I honestly think that the, uh, these cards are just so overpriced. And I think that's the common opinion for all these cards on the game right now. But they're overpriced because A, they're rare and B, uh, there's nothing else to do except try out brand new cards. So when you have that hype of rarity and when you have people wanting to try brand new cards because they're the freshest, newest cards in the game, then you have the combination and you have this result right here of prices being inflated. So I, I do think that these cards would drop off a bit today. Of course, we're going to have some more lightning rounds. Your weekend league demand is going to be ending as people finish their games and such. So you might see these cards drop down a little bit in price. I think most of them are still overvalued again the upgrades don't start for two weeks um and they're just compared to the the foot birthday cards that we had last week they're just they're just too much right now at the moment so keep an eye on these though if you're trying to trade with them uh and and, and fluctuation trade with them a little bit if you find some opportunities to find some movements or if you're if you're just looking hey when should i buy some of these there might they might drop off a lot today one thing that we've seen in the past couple weeks with promos is that these these cards like to drop off a lot on Sundays and then they rebound. I'm pretty sure it happened last week with some of these cards. Oh, it happened on Thursday last week. But you see here from Saturday to Sunday for Danny Alves last week, he went from 900K down to below 800,000 coins 
last week on Sunday during foot birthday team number two. So maybe for some of these cards today, you would expect a bigger drop off with the end of the weekend league. People, of course, expecting weekend league rewards to supply these cards a bit and, um, you know, more lightning rounds. But that also around weekend league rewards time, we'll maybe talk about this tomorrow night a little bit more uh, for the video is you might see some of these cards rising up after weekend league rewards because that's a common trend that we have seen on the market with these cards too. So just kind of keep an eye on those. And if you're trying to trade on the rest of the market right now, here's my biggest tip that I will give you. Out of pack specials are still fluctuating in price, especially focus on some of the ones that are that are hype right now, right? There's a lot of Serie A links that are hype at the moment. Like I'm watching this, wow, 325, 323. All right, I'm picking up this Koulibaly right here because this headliner's Koulibaly was literally 370,000 coins. Uh, earlier today because there's a lot of hype for the tonali so you know i'm gonna i'm gonna put these on my transfer list and potentially sell them tomorrow or excuse me today on sunday because that guy's kind of low right this is what you can do on the market right now is you can fluctuation trade with these cards that are just rare and again the number one tip that i said i was going to give you and i'll say it now is open bids i know i just bought those cards outright on the market right now but oh my gosh gareth bale he was just 330 right gareth bale was 330 just about an hour or two ago Right now he's 305, but what I'm really gonna try to do is maybe try to find an open bid on Gareth Bale. Boom, seven minutes remaining. I'm gonna try to get an open bid on this, save myself 10, 15K maybe if I get a low enough price. That's gonna save me a lot of coins and make my flipping potential for profit so much higher. That's the number one tip that I would give you is open bids because when the market is down and kind of dead and just very quiet like it is right now, those bids are gonna get you some really, really good deals and that's gonna help your profit margins be a lot bigger and it's gonna help you make more coins. So uh, I really have not been doing a lot of trading, I'll be honest. I bought a Balak yesterday on stream uh, for $8.95 and sold it at $9.99. Uh, I bought a Ferran Torres at $7.40, trying to sell it at like $7.90, $7.87, you know, trying to make a quick flip out of that. Again, I bought the Koulibaly's, hopefully he goes back to like 360 or 370, but the, it's not just this Koulibaly, right? I would take a look at other Serie A special cards, other cards on the market that you think are, you know, hyper in the moment. Either way, I mean, it could be a Serie A card, right? You know, Foot Birthday, uh, what was the guy from Foot Birthday Team 1 that was the right back from Napoli? I can't think of his name. Di Lorenzo. This guy really went up in price a lot yesterday because, again, I think people are kind of bored. And the Serie A links are what's hype right now because of Tonali being like the best SBC that is available. So you see this guy go up a lot yesterday. Well, if he drops down a little bit tonight, we'll take a look at him, try to fluctuation trade with him, right? Uh, Allen as well is a card that has gone up a lot. Um, or not gone up a lot, but gone down a lot. He's pretty low at the moment, but you know, we fluctuate. So if I could, if I could catch this at like 630, then I know I could probably sell it somewhere around the range of like 680 to 690, maybe overnight. So that's kind of what I would do is you can still fluctuation trade with these out of packs cards on the market. But again, the market is very stagnant. So make sure that you're covering your tax. If you're trying to flip those cards, be decently careful with those. Um, and, and then SBC fodder too. We got to take a look at that if we're talking market. And I said that we would again, um, depending on the icon of SBC today, it really depends. You know, you know, you might have some of these lower tier cards on the fodder spectrum, 84s, 85s, 86s. They're not really up that much, you know, especially 85s when we had those packs last week, went to like 10, 11,000 coins, 12,000 coins for some of them. I don't know if we're going to get gamble packs this week, party bags, stuff like that. Nothing added to the code. Um, usually we don't see those on Sundays anyway. That's more of like a Monday to Thursday type thing. But maybe today on Sunday is another opportunity where you could stock some of this stuff um, as we'll probably not have too much supply of it over Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, at least not as much supply as the weekend. So all, all I have to say is the last two player SBCs that we have had, Caliguri and Tonali, have both been good value. So we'll see if that trend continues, if they release more SBCs throughout this week. Um, but maybe it's time for the low tier fodder to shine a little bit, especially some of these 84s with really good links. You could probably buy some of these in the low 4K range and sell them for like 6K at some point this week, um, especially those ones that do bounce to 6K because of chemistry uh, so often. The high tier fodder though remains up, um, especially with the 90 to 92 rated cards because of that player of the month Mbappe. So many people are crafting that SBC that has got these cards on the rise got them up in price. I mean, boys, we have icons like Laudrup center attacking mid. This is the 
This is the Prime Laudrup. He is one of the cheapest. That's a bit of an undercut right there, but he is one of the cheapest 91 rated cards. Van Basten's one of the cheapest 91 rated cards. It's crazy. It's crazy how cheap uh, or, or, you know, how expensive fodder is. So these cheap icons and these informs are becoming the cheapest by rating because of how expensive that higher rated fodder is at the moment. So that was kind of an interesting thing I wanted to point out. Also, last thing that we'll end the video with today is a very interesting leak. And you may have seen this yesterday. It doesn't, of course, affect a lot of people. And this is not actually active yet. Until you see a message in FIFA, this is not active yet. But I've seen a lot of people going out and buying Diego Maradona cards. Uh, this was like leaked about a month ago or two months ago in a news article saying that there were issues with the, uh, a third party that technically owns the rights uh, to Diego Maradona since he has passed away, like to his likeness and stuff like that. Um, and there's evidently some sort of legal dispute with those rights. And this is leaked from Foot Sheriff saying that Diego Maradona will be suspended from FIFA 22. Not completely taken away, but suspended um, because of this issue. His cards won't be available in packs, SBCs, or draft. But this has not taken place yet. Since that leak has been posted, though, a lot of people have gone out on the market and purchased these Maradona cards. You can see it plain as day yesterday when this leak came out. Maradona was 6.3 mil exploded into the seven mil range kind of went back down into the sixes where he is now but this impacted all of maradona's cards like the prime maradona is up he was 2.2 mil and he shot up to 2.6 2.7 he's currently 2.4 2.5 right now so you know if you bought any of these to try to trade with them i guess i guess uh you know maybe get it out because it's definitely not guaranteed as of right now that maradona is going to be pulled from the game right away but since we do have this leak, it would make us think that that could be coming soon. So just be wary of that. Um, I usually don't trade with a lot of leaks like that or, you know, sketchy situations where they're pulling somebody off of the game. Um, but if you're wondering like, hey, and, and this is not just people trying to trade with the Maradonas, right? So don't read into this and be like, man, people who are doing this are terrible people because they just want to make coins off of this crazy, uh, you know, change. Obviously, Maradona is still in packs. There's a fresh one that was just listed as the cheapest on the market. Um, but, uh, you know, some people might also see a leak like that and be like, oh my goodness, this is my last chance to get Maradona. You know, I really want his card in my team because I play FIFA because I really like Maradona. And, you know, so that might be why people went out and bought that card yesterday as well. But just kind of be careful with that until you see an in-game message. Uh, I wouldn't worry too much about it. And honestly, if they do take him out of packs, I don't really expect his price to be impacted that much i mean think about the baby in the mid version they're already out of packs so that i mean them taking his prime and his moments card out of packs might make the moments go up a little bit because the moments had a big upgrade this year and the prime being the second best version might make him go up a little bit as well because people go out and buy him but i think even just like we saw with some of those issues earlier this year with other icons that uh were taken off the market for a short period of time uh you know it doesn't last very long. The prices do drop that back down, and then at some point they get reinstated without EA telling us, and the supply comes back on the market, and it's back to normal. So that's just a situation that if you saw Maradona's prices moving, I did want to shop that out and talk about that in this video. But that's going to be the video for today, boys. I hope you have a good weekend. Uh, I will see you tomorrow, normal video per usual. I won't be streaming today. We did stream yesterday on Saturday instead of uh, doing it today on Sunday, kind of switched up the days off this week just because of things that I have going on this weekend. So I hope your weekend leagues end well and we will reconvene tomorrow, same time, same place, talking about what we could see throughout this next week and especially on Monday as a part of Fantasy Foot. So if you enjoyed this video, smash a thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nathan Foot Account and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.